Now, CBS 21 News Road to Victory with Jason Bristol. Well, the road to victory sometimes takes us to strange places. I mean, take Super Bowl MVPs. Among the Tom Brady's and Terry Bradshaw's, there's also Dexter Jackson and Larry Brown. And the star of Media Day today in South Florida won't even play on Sunday. Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh. This is Super Bowl Idol in big number 73. You know who that is? Jamie Thomas from Bishop McDevitt getting his dance on. He's a practice squad player for the Colts and didn't need any practice because he won Super Bowl Idol. I'm sure his old music teacher is so proud. As for the rest of Media Day, it went as scripted. Thousands of reporters inside Sun Life Stadium all trying to talk to Peyton Manning. Media Day was moved indoors because of all the rain in Miami. Most of the questions have already been asked like 323 times before, but it's a tradition, so we just make the best of it. And that's what Marcus Colston of Susquehanna Township did as well. Is it all what you thought it would be? It's it's a little bit more. I didn't I didn't expect uh you know the media day to be this crazy, but um yeah, I'm having a great time with it. What's well, been the toughest question that you've been asked? Somebody just came to ask me about the uh my, my favorite Kardashian sister. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not that out of line when your teammate is Reggie Bush and he's dating one of them. Marcus was also asked about his remarkable journey from Hofstra to seventh round pick to becoming one of the game's best wideouts. And the rain in South Florida not only pushed media day inside, but also both practices. But that didn't stop the grounds crew. They were finishing up the word Saints in the end zone. Uh, Tom Russell, should we expect a soggy field on Sunday? Well, it looks like we're going to have a chance to at least dry out, but you're right, Jason. This pattern has just kept everything very soggy here in South Florida. So slowly improving conditions as we head towards game time on Sunday. And everybody trying to get that field ready and fired up for Sunday night. Here's what we're looking at. Mostly cloudy conditions, mild temperatures. That means low 60s, but it does look like we will be dry for the Super Bowl on Sunday. Jason, back to you. All right, thanks, Tom. Well, we've established the weather hasn't been great. But who wouldn't want to go to the Super Bowl, right? Well, here's an even bigger question. Can you still make it down there in time? Well, CBS 21 News has figured it out, but don't forget your wallet. South Florida is calling, but can you still make it to Miami for the big game? The answer is yes, according travel. to this travel agent speaking. Marta Iglesias of IAG Travel in Miami. Flights are still affordable. Once you hit the ground, though, that's when things get pricey. The hotels is really where um, things can get, you know, expensive. Ones on South Beach are averaging around $600 a night. And she found hotels away from the action that are going for 200 bucks a night, up from 80 or 100 But you'll need more than just a bed. Of course, the biggest problem is finding a ticket. This is the Miami Herald. Inside the classifieds, there's about eight or nine ads looking to buy and sell tickets. Unfortunately, there's no prices listed. However, inside the Saints team hotel, I went in there. They are selling Super Bowl tickets. I asked for the starting price. They begin at $1,800 a piece. Uh, more than most fans can afford. So the NFL is holding other events that are free, like this special art exhibit in South Beach. And the league opened up Pro Bowl practice to the public. And if you can't score a seat for the big game, find 11 friends and hit the water. You can rent a yacht for four hours for under two grand and see more than just football. Some people have actually rented yachts to just watch the game on the yacht with their friends. It's a thing to do. Yes, there's lots to do in South Florida for the Super Bowl. It just depends on how much you're willing to spend. And here's what we came up with if you and a friend wanted to leave, say, tomorrow. Obviously, Super Bowl tickets, the big item, two at $1,800 a pop. You're at $3,600. We actually went cheap with the hotel, found a decent flight as well, and we're still over five grand. And that's if we don't eat. And then what about a rental car? Well, this one may not be possible. It will probably break your budget on the road to victory. 
Well, he was one of thousands down in Miami covering the Super Bowl, but he will not leave after the game is over. CBS 21 News ran into Adam Beasley, who now writes for the Miami Herald. Adam went to Susquehanna Township High School, has worked for the Herald since 2006. He covers football, soccer, entertainment, basically everything. Oh, it's great. I mean, uh, I tell people my, uh, my entire life I wanted to work for a paper like the Miami Herald, and I'm here now. Uh, it's, the circulation's great. You know, it's, yeah, it's just an amazing place to live. I wouldn't trade it for anything. And to get to Miami, Adam had to climb the ladder just like an athlete. He's worked for newspapers in five states, including the Patriot News. Well, when a high roller needs a rental car for the Super Bowl, does he call Alamo or Hertz? Uh, not exactly. In Miami, there's plenty of water, palm trees, and players. And joining Manning, Breeze, and Bush this week, say hello to Lamborghini, Maserati, and Ferrari. Everybody wants to be a star in Miami, come to us and rent the best, the best cars of the world. Yes, cars are the real stars at players' car rental. The Lamborghini only made 106 models of this around the globe. So there's only about 100 of these in the world. Exactly. This black beauty, a Lamborghini Gallardo Nera, has a sticker price of $220,000. And to drive it for the week, you'll have to pay around seven grand. And that's a bargain compared to this 2010 Ferrari California at $15,000 for the week. It's a convertible and also seats four. And these limited editions don't come with unlimited miles. Once you drive one away, you're allowed 75 miles a day. Anything over that costs four bucks a mile. And this showroom is truly amazing. I mean, you have Maserati, Maserati, tricked out Suburban, Mercedes, a Mini Cooper, more Mercedes over here. But come Super Bowl week, this entire building will be empty. All of these cars will be rented. For the, this car, I have uh, one famous uh, guy, he's gonna rent this car. Bruno won't say who it is, but his customers range from rappers to bankers, actors and athletes, clientele that's recession-proof and fits right in with South Florida's luxurious lifestyle. We're a little bit spoiled. Uh, you know, we have some of the nicest beaches, nicest golf courses, the some of the best shopping, uh, ideally and, and respectfully, some of the best runs, restaurants in America are right here. And to experience the best, you have to drive the best. In Miami, you don't have to wear shoulder pads to be a player. You just need a lot of cash. And the uh, sticker price on that Ferrari California, uh, 250 grand. And most of the really famous people don't pick up their cars. The cars are driven to them. And we want to know which exotic car would you rent if you could? The black Lamborghini, the Ferrari California, the convertible, or one of those Maseratis to vote? Hit up CBS21.com. And we have the results from yesterday's poll question. Are you more interested in seeing the game or the commercials this year? And it was tight. It was either the game or the commercials, but not both. Again, everything Super Bowl is on CBS21.com. And for the fans lucky enough to have a ticket for the Super Bowl, will they be safe? Now, CBS 21 News Road to Victory with Jason Bristol. The Road to Victory and the Super Bowl is getting a little crowded now. Look who started showing up in South Florida today. Saints fans, we're talking the famous, the infamous, and the everyday ones. They all landed at Fort Lauderdale Airport this morning. And that famous Saints fan, none other than James Carville. And while Carville's on the left, the Colts are concerned about the right. The right ankle of Dwight Freeney, one of the best pass rushers in football. Freeney has a badly sprained ankle and is listed as questionable. But he's doing better today than yesterday. I was a lot better. You know, it's day to day. I always say it, it's hard for me to put numbers on it, percentages on it, of uh, where exactly it is. But, um, you know, it's definitely getting there. You know, the swelling's going down a lot more. 
Meanwhile, you won't find this on the injury report, but four people were hurt last night when a small stage collapsed outside Sun Life Stadium. People were setting up for the, a rehearsal for the halftime show. Of course, the halftime show features the who. So how will the footing be on Sunday for linemen, quarterbacks, or otherwise? Tom Russell now has the Super Bowl forecast. Tom? Well, they'll get another day to dry out tomorrow, Jason, but more rain on the way with a cold front Friday night into Saturday. Let's take it to game time, though, and talk about what happens. They're going to start to have a chance to dry out for the better part of Sunday afternoon, but by Sunday evening, mostly cloudy. It will be dry. Mild temperatures. Game time kickoff around 63 degrees. Jason, back over to you. All right, Tom. Well, no matter where the Super Bowl is played, South Florida, San Diego, Phoenix, there's always a piece of Hershey right there with it. As we all know, there's never been a Super Bowl played without a big 33 player on the field, and that streak could go on forever. The pulse of the Big 33 thumps this time of year, and the kids who will play in this summer's game won't all be history majors in college, but they realize the NFL and even the Super Bowl could be a part of their lives too. Somebody's gonna make it, so hopefully somebody out of this room makes it. This game has been, you know, something that's, um, you know, such a great honor for so many people in the past. It means that like anything's possible if I go out there and make plays and do what I'm supposed to do. You're not gonna have that same dream. And the dreamers that have made this year's Super Bowl have come a long way from their high school days in Pennsylvania or Ohio. And the Big 33 can't imagine missing a beat, having a Super Sunday without one of its own. Can I say that it won't? I don't know, but I would find it very hard to believe that we would ever have a Super Bowl again in the Big 33 dollars. We hope. We still raise good men. Of course, the Big 33 is a little bum that Anthony Gonzalez, Bob Sanders, Marlon Jackson are all out with injuries, so I guess it's up to the Saints to carry on the tradition this Sunday. And what's the ultimate Super Bowl travel package consist of? Wait until you feast your eyes on this. Some people have the chance to live like a champ before the Super Bowl even starts. For them, a cheap hotel just won't cut it. They'd rather be a cut above. And that's why one company in South Florida is offering nothing but luxury for the big game. It's a beautiful day in Miami, and that's the right kind of day for Antonio Maldonado. His job is to sell South Florida and the ultimate Super Bowl travel package, game, mansion, yacht. You got the game. That's an entertainment. Then you also want something for yourself before the game and then after the game, because you're not flying in for just one day. The Super Bowl, not so super when you have access to a boat like this. We are on an 80-foot Lazara. And it's yours with four staterooms, each with its own bath, granite countertops in the kitchen, and a flat-screen TV, part of a huge living and dining space. And your personal captain will dock it at a home similar to this one, owned by Monica Seleski. And I'm going to take you a tour, to a, a great tour of this beautiful modern glass estate. Inside, dramatic chandeliers a glass walkway, and extraordinary views. Turning to the right, you have Miami Beach. So basically, this is a 360 view of all of Miami. Both outside and inside. Why would an owner want to rent out a beautiful home like this one? Because a lot of owners, they don't live here. They have multiple properties. They come to Miami maybe once a month. Meaning homes are open for business. So what's all this cost, the game, the mansion, the yacht? Antonio's price around 20 grand, which is why most of South Florida was hoping for a big market team like the Jets to make it to Miami. New Yorkers uh, tend to spend more money because the cost of living in New York is much more expensive than South Florida. And Antonio is still looking for a buyer. The water, the mansion, the game, and the weather are waiting. Again, that home is similar to the ones Antonio is offering. He has three of those Super Bowl packages available. And do you want to see more of that waterfront mansion? Well, CBS 21 News has the entire tour. And later tonight, you can see it on CBS21.com.